What's up, Susha? So I'm giving you a little bit of a new angle, trying to consistently mix things up. Listen, today we have something so exciting for you guys. Like, it is going to be absolutely insane. I am super excited to share it with you. I have one of my cooking friends here with me. He comes all of the way from Vatican City. His name is Mario. So he's going to be showing us his meatball recipe, and I'm going to be putting it together with my red sauce, and we are going to have some delicious meatballs and spaghetti. Y'all ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up, sous chef? So welcome back to the channel. I want you to know that I've been missing you. First things first, y'all know we take care of the business and then we get to the fun. If this is your first time here on the Sous Chef channel, I want to say welcome. If you've been here before, I want to say welcome on back. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this channel and this video with all of your friends. They want to see Sous Chef too. Don't be selfish now. Don't be selfish. Today... I wanted to introduce you to something that we've maybe talked about a little bit on our discussion board and on our community tab. And I want to say, welcome to Sous Chef Sundays. Sous Chef Sundays is something I just come up with very recently for us to, to help us just explore different parts of the world and some of the cuisine that's associated with it. So today, I'm here to share with you Sous Chef Sundays. And I have something very, very special for you. I thought it would be more than appropriate to start off Sous Chef Sundays in Italy. But today, I have a very special friend here, all the way from Vatican City. He's here to show us how to make his super duper delicious meatballs. Mario? Thank you, Sous Chef. I'm glad to be here. It's -a me, Mario. However, I can only come out without the camera on my face. So today, uh, I show you how to make uh, my uh, meatballs. It's uh, Mario's stuffed uh, meatballs. Here we go. I heard uh, that the Swiss chef needs some help uh, making her meatballs. So I come from Italy to come and show her my recipe. First, uh, you need uh, the pork. You need the whole pound of the ground up hook. Mario, I like to call it swine. Swine? Why you like to call it swine? I don't know. That's just what I grew up calling it. Okay, I guess we call it the swine. One pound of the swine. Next, uh, you need uh, the beef. Also a pound of the beef. Sous Chef likes to have the organic beef, so that's what we get, right, Sous Chef? That's right, it's gotta be organic for me. Okay, here we go. One pound of the beef. My friend, Sous Chef, says she thinks everything should taste good. We think the same thing in Italy. That's right, Mario. What you gonna put in there, boo? You know, a sous chef, we have to start the with the salt. I'm liking this recipe already. Oh, okay. You want to put uh, two teaspoons of the salt right into the bowl. Next, uh, you want the oregano. One tablespoon and another tablespoon. It equals a two a tablespoon. One, a two. That looks good, Mario. What else are we adding? Okay. You also need the basil. One a tablespoon. Here we go. You need a little black pepper. One a teaspoon. And you need the red pepper. Ooh, I love red pepper, Mario. How much red pepper are we putting? I think uh, just a pinch. Ooh, Mario, can I put the red pepper in? Uh, uh, did you wash your hands? 
Of course I wash my hands. This is Sous Chef Kitchen. What you think? Okay, I'm just asking. Here you go. In Italy, we really like the garlic. We're going to put two tablespoons of the garlic in the meatballs today. One, the two. Make sure you get the garlic powder. It is my favorite kind in this recipe. You want your meatballs to stay nice and moist. To keep your meat nice and moist, it's good to add the onion. Oh, onion. I don't want to chop any onion. Well, good thing for you. We have chopped onion. A word? Yes. Yes, so we do. Let me show you. Chop the onion. Oh, you're funny, Mario. You're real funny. You know that's dried chopped onion. Well, where are you coming from? An onion is an onion. <laughs> I guess you're right. How much? Uh, hello? You learned anything yet? A two a tablespoon. Okay now, Mario, don't be getting smart. This is my kitchen still. Okay. And a do to you. Sous chef, are you mocking me? Mario, I would never mock you. Here you are giving me your amazing meatball recipe. I got to sit here and learn something from you. Okay. Okay. Now we need some bread to crumbs. Back in Italy, I would use a real bread, but uh, in America, your bread is not the same. But I like your bread to crumbs. Today, we use a third a cup of breadcrumbs. I like the garlic and herb version, so here we go. One third a cup. You also need some grated cheese. My cheese is Parmesan Romano cheese. One third a cup as well to match the breadcrumbs. And here we are, we are done. Ooh, I have the egg. An egg? Why do you need an egg? I just thought that's what you do with meatballs. Oh my god, sous chef, silly American. I'm sorry, is it ruined? No, it's not the ruined, but uh, it's not to my recipe anymore. Oh man, what are we gonna do? Well, it's me, Mario, and sous chef's recipe for mozzarella stuffed the meatballs. It's okay, Mario. You probably don't want to get your hands dirty. I'll mix it for you. This is my favorite part. Okay. All right, y'all. We gonna get in here and mix all of these ingredients together. Remember, you're using two different kinds of meat, so you're gonna wanna really incorporate those two together. I kind of use my fingers to kind of Break the meats apart and spread them out. Make sure we're really incorporating those seasonings. And we know that we're good on mixing when all of the meat starts to congeal back together. It's that cold egg doing its thing. We don't want to over mix our meatballs. All right, and just like that, we have our meatball mixture. Let's go. Okay, it's sous chef time. We have our 
lovely ice cream scoop here and we are going to use this to make our meatballs today. So you're just going to go in, take a nice scoop, plop it in our hand. All right, so we have our nice meatball and we're going to just really just flatten it out because we want to make a stuffed meatball out of that, right? So we're going to move that out of the way. Make sure you sanitize your counters if you're going to use it the way I am. I just wiped this down with bleach. I'm going to take about a pinch of shredded mozzarella cheese, stuff it right in the middle. Then we're going to fold it over, fold it over again, fold it over again. We just want to close that up. Okay, the key to making great meatballs. You want to hold your hands in a cup motion. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you just want to gently toss it back and forth between each hand. You want to keep light hands as if it was a hot potato. Okay? Make sure that you pinch any places together that you feel maybe will reveal the cheese. We want our cheese to stay in our meatball. So any places that were part of that fold, just make sure you're doing a really good job of sealing those places up. And then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Every time you do some sealing, you wanna squeeze it back in together. And then like I said, just toss it back and forth in between two hands. All right. And there we have it. Meatball number one. Show you one more time. Chef, are you ready to eat? I'm hungry. Well, here you are, Mario. Here we go. Ooh, look at the mozzarella in the meatball.
Chef Mario, what do you think? Yummy! Now I tried the bread. I didn't teach you how to make this sous chef. Now that's what they call ASMR. Listen now. I know you guys know Chef Mario is not getting the only bite around here. I too have a plate since this is our collaboration. Listen, I got some garlic bread. I know I always have to do something. I don't show you what added to my meal, but I'm even feeling extra nice today. I'm gonna give you all the first bite. I never give y'all the first bite. Listen, I showed y'all how to make that marinara. Look at that. There is no reason you should ever have to buy store-bought marinara, store-bought tomato sauce, anything like that. All you have to do is make sous chef's red sauce. Cheers. Excellent. Absolutely excellent, you guys. Let's take a peek at our meatball. See what we got going on. Uh, <laughs> Y'all see that cheese pouring out of the meatball? Let's see if I can get a little bit. Mm. It's so good, you guys. Literally so good. Let me see what this bread working with. You know, we can use this bread to sop it up. Sop, 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 sop it up. So I'm not going to eat all of it right now. But at the end, dip it. Dip it real good. Listen, I'm going to keep this short because it's about time for me to go and finish my plate. I showed you how to do it. It's time for you to go to the store, get all of the ingredients that are listed in the description box. Because spaghetti with stuffed mozzarella meatballs could absolutely be what's for dinner. Now all you have to do is go and make it yourself. See you guys later.